We often think of cults as being religiously based. However, they can exist in a way which is not essentially based around religion as much as about indoctrination. It's not always about the beliefs. It's very often about the methods which are used. A school in Denmark, which was very anti-establishment, had anti-establishment teachers, indoctrination of children to that perspective, and of course, had the leader as an absolute authority. There was no mystical, no spiritual dimension. It was based upon the Maoist principles of the school leader. The school in Denmark even had a system where the teachers would have to give their funds to the school in order for the communal fund to be spent wisely. It was operating as a mini communism within Denmark. Over time, the organization expanded, becoming a complex web of educational and charitable causes in Scandinavia, Africa, and all over the world. The organization was involved in money laundering, and indeed the cult leader was sentenced to prison by the Danish authorities for financial crimes. He is now believed to be on the run in Mexico. There are many such organizations around the world of this kind. Many scams, many manipulations. Many which deserve the name cult because of their methods. Their beliefs are secondary compared to the manipulation, the indoctrination, and the absolute power they demand. 